Number 7. Josh Rose Josh Rose, a father of two, was enjoying a picnic day with his family in a park near London, England, when he became the victim of a snake attack. They had taken the children's buggy, but before the kids could climb on, Rose noticed a three-feet adder and tried to shoo it away. The viper immediately lunged forward and bit Rose on the finger. Within minutes, he began foaming at the mouth and required immediate medical attention. He later described the experience being similar to being run over by a truck, as he was rendered unable to move. Once in the hospital, he was given blood thinners and anti-venom and spent 24 hours in intensive care. Rose had a long path ahead in order to fully recover, as it usually takes between three weeks to nine months for adults to overcome this type of attack. The adder is a type of snake that encompasses many different species. The common European adder or common viper usually doesn't grow longer than 35 inches or heavier than six ounces, making it a rather small viper. It's easily recognizable due to the distinct zigzag patterns that run down its body as well as its bright red eyes. The copperhead or deaf adder is usually as large as the viper verus. Its body is covered in an hourglass pattern that makes it easily identifiable due to its calm demeanor and slow reaction to movements around it. This species was considered to be deaf like all vipers, the copperhead doesn't hear in the same way other animals do. Instead, it relies on its other senses to distinguish different vibrations and low frequency sounds. The Berg adder is a rarity as its venom is almost entirely neurotoxic, meaning that its bite rarely produces infections or necrosis. Being ill-tempered, it tends to hiss and twist violently when disturbed. The Berg adder is quick to attack and the effects of his bite can be quite brutal. There are two types of snakes commonly known as puff adders located in Africa and North America. The American or hog-nosed adder has a characteristically upturned snout. Though it might hiss and feign strikes, it very rarely attacks for real. And it's a non-venomous reptile. The African puff adder is incredibly dangerous. It's responsible for more human being fatalities than any other snake on the continent. Before attacking, it inflates its body and hisses loudly, which is how the puff adder earned its colloquial name. Number 6. Isaac McCluskey Isaac McCluskey was just two years old when a common adder lunged at his hand as he was taking a stroll with his parents in the woods. Near his Lincolnshire home in England, he'd been playing with pine cones and picking rocks off the ground, which might have led the adder to see him as a threat. After being rushed to the hospital, he received anti-venom and was kept under observation. His arm swelled painfully and his hand was so puffed up that the toddler couldn't even move his fingers. Doctors explained that it could remain that way for over two weeks. McCluskey was discharged and his parents kept a close eye on the bite's evolution. Native to Western Europe and East Asia, the Viper Verus or Common Adder is considered to be the only poisonous snake in the UK. Though it's not particularly aggressive, it often strikes when angered or threatened and its bite is vicious. When preparing to strike, it twists its body into an S-shape. The deaf adder is native to the United States. It's the most lethargic and quiet species of adders and tends to retreat slowly when confronted. Copperhead, another of its most common names, comes from the copper red shade of its head. Younger specimens, however, tend to have much milder coloration. The Berg adder, native to the mountainous areas of South Africa, is slightly smaller than other vipers. It grows only as large as 16 inches, though specimens in captivity have been recorded to measure up to 24 inches. The hog-nosed adder is found in North America. Its neck is expandable and it can spread its ribs to flatten its upper body much like the cobra. The lethal puff adder, on the other hand, is the most common snake in Africa. It uses camouflage to protect itself from predators and to hunt. Its most dangerous features are its potent venom as well as its long fangs, which lead to envenomation with almost every bite. Number 5. Unnamed Man 
an unnamed man from Dublin was bitten by an African puff adder he kept as a pet. As his condition rapidly deteriorated, he had to be rushed to Connolly Hospital. However, there was no available antivenom, not only because it was the first case of a venomous puff adder bite in Ireland, but because of a shortage worldwide. Authorities got in contact with several hospitals, but only 10 vials could be delivered. Due to the severity of the bite, doctors were concerned that over 30 vials would be required. The man would have needed an airlift to Paris or Dusseldorf if his condition had worsened. Fortunately, the 22-year-old pet owner managed to make a full recovery and was discharged soon after. Not all adders are dangerous to humans and some are not even venomous. Copperheads are venom strong enough to cause discomfort to a grown human being, but it rarely, if ever, creates serious health complications. While generally mellow, the copperhead, if threatened, is known to strike with surprising vigor, swatting its tail rapidly from side to side. The bite of a Berg adder isn't usually fatal, but its effects are uncomfortable, distressing, and painful. Symptoms may include respiratory complications, as well as a loss of smell, taste, and even vision. These effects can last anywhere from a few days to several weeks. Antivenom is rarely effective, which is why treatment usually deals only with symptomatic control. The common adder's bite has been associated with human casualties, though it's not generally considered a lethal threat. It commonly causes intense pain, as well as swelling, blisters, and bruising that rapidly expands. The American hog-nosed adder is non-venomous, but its bite can cause great discomfort. The African puff adder produces powerful venom with serious cytotoxic effects. It strikes with such force that small prey will invariably die upon impact. The viper's fangs are so strong that they can even penetrate leather. In humans, its bite leads to bleeding, swelling, severe pain, vomiting, and dizziness. More serious attacks affect the muscles with lifelong consequences and often result in necrosis of limb tissue or even death. Number 4. Doncaster Man An unnamed Doncaster man was trekking in Dalby Forest, England, when he noticed a viper slithering by. He decided to pick it up, presumably without knowing that it was a common adder. The snake immediately felt threatened. The adder bit the 44-year-old three times, injecting his venom before slithering away. The unnamed man was lucky an off-duty paramedic was in the area. He provided vital assistance while they waited for an air ambulance to arrive. He was rapidly airlifted to the James Cook University Hospital, where he received life-saving treatment. The victim remained in a serious but stable condition and eventually showed signs of recovery. Number 3. Mason Jenkins Three-year-old Mason Jenkins and his parents were taking the family dog for a walk in a field near Rosniger in Wales, United Kingdom. At one point, the toddler ran ahead alone. He returned within a few minutes, complaining about being scratched by a snake. It was quickly determined he'd been bitten by a common adder. The child suddenly got sleepy and his tongue got swollen. His parents, fearing for the worst, called an ambulance. On the way to the hospital, the toddler cried and said that his stomach hurt. Jenkins ended up spending five days under observation and was given two doses of antivenom. Fortunately, he managed to survive the attack. The best cause of action is to avoid getting bitten by any of the adder species. Though some might be close to harmless, others can induce severe pain and dangerous side effects. Removing all debris from backyards and blocking holes that lead into your house might keep the vipers at bay. Not finding a safe spot to hide usually dissuades these reptiles from remaining in an area. If you notice a snake wandering around your property, it's vital not to approach it. Call the authorities and let them handle the wild animal. The viper might feel threatened by your proximity and attack out of fear or annoyance. If bitten by a venomous adder, immediately seek medical help. It's a good idea to snap a picture of the animal that attacked you for easy identification, but do not attempt to catch or kill it. Attempting to make the wound bleed or trying to suck out the venom is a bad idea and should be avoided. The best course of action is to remain as still as possible, call the emergency services and wait for professional help to arrive. If bitten by an African puff adder, urgent medical attention and immediate antivenom are required. 
Long-term damage is common and death is highly probable without proper care. Today's topic was requested by Gloria Newton and Luke Higginbotham, among many others. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Or follow us on Instagram and reach out to us there. Number 2. Rianne Dietlifs Rianne Dietlifs was only two years old when he got violently ill at his family's farm just outside of Jeffreys Bay, South Africa. He was rushed to Humansdorp Provincial Hospital with his life hanging on by a thread. The toddler fainted on the way to the ER and his arm was so swollen that amputation seemed like the only option to save him. At first, the doctors didn't understand what was wrong with Dietlifs. They suspected some kind of bug or wild animal attack. The child's father returned to their home to investigate and discovered a dead puff adder on the grass in the family's yard. It had been killed by the family's dogs. This information was vital towards the toddler's life, as the doctors could stop guessing how to treat his symptoms. The small child started making a slow recovery after receiving three vials of antivenom and a blood transfusion. Number 1. Unnamed Dog Walker A 55-year-old dog walker was taking a stroll down Rossilli Beach in Wales, United Kingdom, when he encountered a common adder. The wild animal immediately lunged at the man and bit his little toe. The victim, who asked not to be named, suffered a severe allergic reaction. Not only did he endure the usual symptoms of adder envenomation, but he also began experiencing chest pain, swollen lips, and difficulty breathing. His feet began to bloat, and the swelling slowly expanded to the rest of his leg. He spent three days at the hospital and was discharged to continue recuperating at home even though his legs were still severely bruised. Doctors believed it would take him up to six weeks to fully regain his health. Thanks for watching. Would you rather get bitten by an adder or get assaulted by an angry Rottweiler? Let us know in the comments section below.